A couple, a couple, <laughs> you know, scenes in my head or, or passages in the book. One was where you st you lived, or the the character in the book lived in this like just walk up seedy apartment in inside a house near the railroad tracks in Westport, and how you you know you were just scrimping to get by. Yeah. You'd go to the train, and there'd be like these. Maseratis and Lamborghinis yep. going by, and you're like, is this ever going to work? You schlub down to Manhattan in the cold, and you're trying to break in. Then you get the big break. You go to you go to Italy, but still, it's not like you're in the lap of luxury. No. But the character in the book would come home and leave this hotel, this pension, and there would be a phalanx of prostitutes right. in front who you befriended, or the per the, <laughs> the character befriended. What yeah. was that like? Well, it was it was kind of interesting because. Um, you know, it, it told me something about myself and the character that he really doesn't care. He really, he really is not going around judging people based on what they're doing. He's like, they're doing something, I'm doing something. Yeah. And um, you weren't to the manner born and above. You know, right, uh, right. all this. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, it, it, the old the old saying that you know um, you're not better than anybody else, but yeah. nobody's better than you. So you know, sort of like we're all equal. Um, but he, he found benefits to staying at, at this pension was that nobody really bothered him. You know, yeah. nobody was like, "Hey, what time did you come in?" or check, you know, checking up. And he, you know, he sort of uh, appreciated that yeah. and felt a sense of comfort in a place where a lot of people were, "Wow, this place is pretty," you know, you know, kind of a, a scary place. But um, you know, I, fa I found it. You know, it was home the whole time I was there. I never, I never uh, left uh, that pension.